Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us for our Children's Church lesson today. And we pray that you have enjoyed our last two lessons. I hope that you all are staying in faith, that you're being encouraged and you're not being afraid of what's happening because God has it all under control. Did you know that mostly all of the grocery stores in our area is out of toilet paper? I'm thinking, what is everyone doing with the toilet paper? The grocery store shelves are like almost bare. It makes me think back to when, during the winter time, when we get the forecast that we may get some snow and everyone runs out to get their favorite snacks and their favorite drinks and um, anything that they may need to make it in case we don't have power or we get stuck in the house. Well, I think that's what's happening right now. So during times of natural disasters, people worry a lot. Have you, have you ever experienced that? Right now, it's kind of like no different. It's natural to be worried when stuff is a little different or maybe a little scary or not as normal. The way to help ease your worry is to prepare. So what your parents have been doing and all the other adults is they've been going to the stores and they've been preparing in case we don't be able to make it out. So I guess that's why we don't have any toilet paper in the store. So, but you have to remember that no matter how big our worries may be, God is in control. Did you know that there's a story about Jesus and a warrior in the Bible? The scripture reference for this story is Mark 4, 35 through 41. I wonder how Jesus felt to know that his disciples that were with him were worrying. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. So Jesus and all of his disciples were on a boat. It was um, a gentle, like rocking back and forth. And Jesus decided to take a nap. Now, you know, he has to be a powerful man and to be able to take a nap during a storm and the boat is rocking. So I would say that Jesus probably took a little nap. He probably was snoring, didn't have a care in the world. And then all of a sudden, a huge storm comes through and the boat starts to rock a lot. So can you imagine going from a little rock to a big rock? But guess what? It didn't bother him at all. He kept napping. So we're gonna pause right here, watch a short video, and the title of the video is Jesus Calms the Storm. We'll be right back afterwards. Happy Kids TV. The Holy Tales. Hello, kids. We are back again to tell you a new story from the Bible. The story which you are going to tell us today, what is it about? I am going to tell you a very exciting story. It is called, Jesus Calms the Storm. Wow! That must be interesting. Let's not waste any more time, Holy. Go on with the story. Jesus did everything and performed miracles to point people to God. He wanted people to know God, love Him, trust Him, and obey Him. He did miraculous things to show people God's amazing powers, which no normal human being could do. The people who saw these miracles happening truly believed that Jesus was the Son of God and the Messiah. Wherever Jesus went, a large crowd of people always followed him. He spent his days teaching, healing, talking with them, and got very little rest. One day, after teaching all day, in the evening, he said to his disciples, Come, let's cross to the other side of the lake. So Jesus, along with his disciples, got onto one boat, while some of the people in the crowd got into other boats and followed them. Jesus went to the back of the boat and lay down. He was very tired and so he fell asleep. When the boat was in the middle of the lake, a terrible storm blew in. The wind blew the boat around, tossing and turning it, and the waves crashed against it. The disciples were terrified. They thought they would die. They frantically went to Jesus and said, 
Teacher, help us. We're going to drown. Jesus very calmly got up and looked at the waves and said, Be still. Immediately, the wind stopped blowing and the waves calmed down. Everything was quiet. Jesus then turned to his disciples and asked, Why were you so afraid? Don't you have faith in me? All of his disciples were amazed to see Jesus' powers. They wondered amongst themselves as to who was this great man that even the wind and the waves obeyed him. That was indeed a very exciting story, Holy. Jesus had such amazing powers to even control the wind and the waves. Oh yes, I love stories like these. Holy, what question are you going to ask us today? I was thinking of not asking you any questions. I am just glad that you paid attention and you liked the story. What? No question? Yay! We love all the stories that you tell us, Holy. Thank you. You are most welcome, dear. This was today's story. Hope you all enjoyed it. We'll be back soon. Keep watching. We know that Jesus loves us. He has the power to heal any disease. We also know that he's in control of the entire world. So we know that Jesus has the power to stop any sickness and to heal any sickness. And we know that he would do these things because he loves us. So I encourage you to not be afraid and to not worry. I also encourage you to be in prayer with your family. Pray that God will move exactly how he needs to move for this virus, for this time that we are experiencing now. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I have some homework for you. So based on this lesson, do you think that the coronavirus is like a storm? Why or why not? So in the comment section, I want you to share your thoughts. And guess what? Bishop is going to be monitoring those comments again, but we have something to show you this time. All right. Are you ready? So for the person who responds with the most thoughtful, the most thoughtful answer, you're going to get this, mm -mm -mm, a Chick-fil-A gift card so that you can enjoy yourself some breakfast, some lunch, or some dinner on Bishop from the church. All right, so listen, the question that you have to respond to, do you think the coronavirus is like a storm? Why or why not? Now, if you forget what to reference, we're referencing chap uh, Mark chapter four, verses 35 through 41. So be sure to include some details so he knows that you know exactly what you're explaining. Thank you so much. So let's go ahead and let's close out in prayer. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity that we had to experience you on today, Lord God. And Lord, I pray that every youth, Lord God, will stand in faith and stand on your word, knowing that you have all of this in control, Lord God. And we know that you have the power to stop the spread of this illness, Lord God, and that you will heal those who are affected. So help us to put our trust in you, Lord God. Help us to stay in faith with you, and we leave all of our fears in your hand. We give you honor and we give you glory. In Jesus name, amen. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time. Don't forget. Bye.